Thank you for tuning in. I am Key. This is part two of the Hair Addicts Online, my rap page. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Okay, this was the, um, so somebody called and disturbed me. This is what I paid. Can y'all see that? I paid $306. I ordered the hair February 27th. I received the hair um, March 3rd or something like that. No, March 4th. I received the hair. And I left them a comment saying that the hair, you know, it didn't look like the hair, you know, that I ordered. And it wasn't labeled. And it just looks... Look at it. Look at this hair. Somebody out there, leave me a comment. Tell me if I'm wrong or not. If they ordered anybody out there that ordered some hair, pay with their own money. And um, let me know if this hair is the same hair and it's actually decent hair. You know, I, I really want to know because I'm really upset how they sent it. They didn't put no labels on there. Look at the hair. Look how it look. Look how it look. And like I said before, the people, I left a comment, um, well, I emailed them and left a comment um, telling them that I was unhappy with this hair. Like I said, first impression is everything, but I'm just going to make this video real short. People, do your research out there before you order hair with your own money, you know. These people don't care about nobody um, hard-earned coin. They, you know, ain't happy that, hey, you know, got another customer. You know, they not proud of that. They're they not hungry no more, so they really don't give a damn. Excuse my French. I'm pissed. They don't care, and they just going to do people any kind of way, and that's not how you do business. That's not how you're supposed to treat people. This is why... Um, I'm going to say not every black company, but this is why a lot of people don't like supporting black companies because of this right here. Because of this, you, you threw the hair in there. It's not labeled. It's um, the webs is raggedy on here. Real raggedy. I got it's so many beards on here. It's, it's a shame. OK, I can make my own mustache with this. The hair was hard to run. I didn't been run my fingers through it since the video. But look. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. And it's it's hard for me to put my hands. Look at this hair. Just shedding all over all over my counter. Look at this. I'm about to show you all this hair. It's on this counter. I wonder if y'all could actually see this hair. I, it, it's more to be picked up. Like, look at all this hair. It's more to be picked up. Like, hair is all over this counter. Look at this shit. And then they told me, don't, um... Email us back talking about no hair shit. Excuse me? I know hair shit, but come on. This is excessive shit. Like, it's all on the back of this damn gone thing. Now, please, somebody, let me know. Leave a comment. And let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you ordered this hair with your own money. Not getting it free. I don't I don't want nobody on this page talking about you got it for free. Comment. People that paid money. And their hair, I must have got a bad batch. But what I'm saying is, if she took any pride, if she was still hungry, she would have seen two good hair going out. Because first of all, that's how you do business. You want to make sure everybody that you're sending hair out, because when you get your hair from the vendors, you're going to look at this hair. You're going to do an inspection on this hair, okay? And then you're going to mail it out to your customers, Word of some advice, do your research. Don't be in a rush to order this hair, you know, order hair from these companies spending your money and they're not trying to satisfy a paying customer. Now, this is how you keep your customers. You know what I'm saying? This is really how you keep your customers. But that's it. I'm out. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I am Key. Leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a blessed day.